But at the end of the day, I lost my job, I lost my car, I lost my health insurance, I lost everything, but the risk is worth it. I've been a journalist for over 25 years on Guam. I've been a voice for all of you. So you know I'm going to fight for you. Because we are all sick of these promises from politicians that never deliver. I'm just stepping up to serve our island family. And there just needs to be more police presence. We need to have more police officers patrolling our streets and fighting crime and arresting criminals. I'm not a quitter. I signed up to fight for the people of Guam. The lessons that our Manemko, all of you have taught us growing up about respect, about compassion for our people, um, those are the kind of values that I hold dearly, that Mike holds dearly. Well, if you want change, you want different, you're tired of the politics, and you want someone real, and a leader you can trust, here I am. I'm speaking like the people that are watching at home because I'm sick. I'm sick because when my father wanted to come back to Guam, he couldn't because we don't have the specialists that he would need for his medical care. He died in December and I buried him last month. That is why I was off island. I'm sick because my mother is in the same position. She wants to come home and live here, but she can't. I'm sick that when we go out to visit people at their homes, they're scared to go to the hospital or clinic for a checkup because they cannot afford to. I'm inspired by you for your courage to share your concerns and worries with me about the struggle to take care of your family.